morning, everyone. We're coming to you live from Sunny Cypress today, and uh, we're talking today to Tickmill's Global Head of Business Development, Carla. So, welcome, Carla. Thank you for taking the time out to talk to us. Thank you for having me here. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Yourself? Good, good. All good. So, Carla, I think the first thing for us to talk about is uh, a typical day in uh, your role. So, what would a typical day look like for you? What are the kind of responsibilities that you're doing on a day to day basis? Yeah, so Sophie, regarding to what I do uh, usually on uh, on daily basis, uh, there are a lot of uh, maybe tasks and priorities that I should look into. Mm -hmm. So I uh, try to uh, maybe divide the task into different days uh, or even mix. Uh, the reason why is because I look into different uh, markets mm -hmm. uh, globally. So starting off, uh, like I develop individual plans uh, with the country managers for each country or region that they mm -hmm. take care of. Uh, and then I have also evaluate uh, market trends and provide the appropriate support to uh, product development. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I do provide some training and uh, maybe guidance to the team. Mm -hmm. So uh, to also overcome some development issues, uh, let's say we do some uh, weekly meetings or monthly meetings to discuss what challenges each market is facing in every county or region and we try to find solutions for that as well together. Um, I also... So I was just going to ask, so what you're yeah. saying is that um, you actually go in with a tailored approach for each market, so uh, for the different country managers, you have to tailor it to the clientele that are in that country. Yes. yes ah, true. okay. So yeah. there's, a, there's a lot of work going into Yes, that. of course. Yeah. So that's why we need to also always work together because, mm -hmm. you know, everything... Uh, when you, when you try to overlook a, a, to a global market, you need mm -hmm. to listen and understand every individual market, yeah. how you can approach it, you mm -hmm. know, because every market has different tradition, different uh, culture, different tri type of uh, marketing tools, approach, etc. Wow. So we need to always communicate together as a team. So it's a real tailored approach. Yeah, nice. it is. Uh, in addition to that, I analyze the business strategies and uh, develop improvement plans uh, so I can also provide the right support for uh, the, you know, for the growth of the business. Mm -hmm. um, so we also, uh, of course, when I gather all the information and the challenges or issues, so I also try to coordinate that with the management team uh, to maintain as well uh, uh, the quality of service that we provide for every individual market mm -hmm. and to maintain, of course, the budget that we need to allocate for uh, those uh, countries. So it's about maintaining the consistency as well? Yes, correct. Yeah. And then and if we look at the technology side as well, I need to raise also with the IT department in order to uh, maybe uh, inform them about the latest technology that we need to provide for our uh, clients. Mm -hmm. uh, differently also in every market. If you look at uh, Asia, they, uh, they maybe discuss about copy trading or even MENA or uh, Latin America. So every individual market also is in need for certain technical tools. So we need to always communicate with our IT department in order to provide the most innovative uh, tools and products uh, for our clients. Wow, so that's actually quite a huge scope of activity that you've got to cover. Um, what do you feel that's the most important thing for your team to focus on and what are your priorities, to, or for you anyway, what do you feel are your priorities towards the traders? Um, I believe there are a lot of uh, maybe key points that I try to communicate it with my team in order to provide uh, the best service that we can because at the end of the day we are an online financial uh, trading company. So in that matter, you are not offering uh, a ta tangible product. So uh, therefore, you need to focus on the service that you provide to uh, clients or traders. So the, one of the maybe key um, services that we need to focus on is education. Mm -hmm. uh, education, uh, so in cooperation, of course, with marketing department, we try to see uh, maybe each market also individually what type of webinars uh, they would look into, education webinars, of course. Yeah. Uh, also, we try to be uh, offline as well. Mm -hmm. So we target different uh, markets by going on, on the ground, being there, present as well, and provide them the educational seminars that they might acquire. So we have a lot of, uh, for example, beginners, uh, traders, 
that they need to understand more the risk about you know the risk of this market of this yeah. industry before they get into that market so we try to provide them the most information possible for them to make the right decision in order to see whether it suits them or not uh, that's for the education part now if we talk about services we need also to maintain uh, the quality of uh, communication with our traders mm -hmm. we need to understand the needs and requirements for them in order to uh, provide the best service uh, yeah. for those traders and then again we look also uh, for each market individually we do not provide the same service for all markets because every market as i said before has its way a different way of approach uh, the third thing uh, then uh, your presence as well on uh, if we look at the technology part as well so you need to be present on social media mm -hmm and uh, therefore we have to look into how we present our services uh, by providing the right information to our clients from the business development side uh, we are active on social media so traders uh, all over the world can understand what sigma's vision is uh, also uh, can also get close uh, in communication with the right business development mm -hmm. whether he's a country manager or a salesperson or the customer support. So we try to uh, understand the need for each market and be there as well active on social media. I mean, if you want to reach the global market, you need to be present there. Yeah. So they need to see with who they're dealing with. So it's really important to be uh, active on social media. Yeah. Uh, what image you are giving uh, or you're presenting the company. And do you think it's important that they have that accessibility as well to the company? So it's more about the transparency so people can always kind of be in contact should they have communications more about very the immediate so. communication yes, yes very yeah. important indeed nice so that's a that's a very kind of comprehensive approach that you have um so carla what i'm hearing is that um a lot of emphasis is put on education and making sure the traders know what they're doing so what do you feel are the current needs of the traders and how do you make sure that your team caters to that okay if we look at different type of traders uh, say for example we start off with uh, beginners mm -hmm. or uh, the guys that they want to learn more about trading they've heard they tried for some times and they want to learn more yeah so uh, what my team does uh, or maybe the need for the trader to start uh, learning more about trading is to walk them through basically uh, the platform mm -hmm. to understand more how to place a trade what are uh, the risks that also they might encounter. Uh, they can also ask maybe about different type of uh, terminology mm -hmm. on the platform that we could see, like leverage, margin, etc. So those guys uh, are there to help them, to walk them through from A to Z. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the trader obviously need to understand also the cost. So they do ask uh, sometimes, if we're talking also about the advanced traders, they come and they look for what are the costs for the spreads, mm. uh, what's the leverage that uh, they can be entitled for. Now with the ESMA also, they need to understand how they can be converted to professional clients or not. Yeah. Uh, if they are retailers, what leverage uh, uh, they get. So uh, the team is there to explain to them and uh, maybe to walk them through the whole registration process. So every trader has its different needs. And we make sure that every trader will find the right tool and uh, services that they, they would be looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and what about Tickmill as a whole um, with regards to the conditions? So the spreads, the leverage, the margin requirements. Um, how does Tickmill cater to a plethora of clients with uh, their conditions? Nowadays, um, I mean, there is a lot of competition in the market. Mm -hmm. And the competition market requires to be maybe uh, the, the broker that you should be getting or maybe offering the best lower spread, mm -hmm. uh, offering the leverage that the trader uh, will look into it. Uh, also the regulations. Uh, a lot of clients, they will come and ask, uh, where are you regulated? If it's an FCA company or broker or if it's an offshore a license as well. Mm -hmm. So um, Tigma try its best to provide the, uh, the most innovative uh, products as well. So the more variety of products, uh, the better for the traders to have more options in order to see how they can, mm -hmm. or maybe which products to look into and trade. Um, they tried as well to uh, have the best execution. Uh, with this competition, you need to always uh, offer the best execution as well mm -hmm. uh, in 
addition to the spreads of the low cost of spread and the leverage that they would be looking into. Wow. So, um, and uh, not to mention uh, the segregated accounts that the clients would feel more safe once they uh, fund uh, their money in order to place some trades. Mm -hmm. So uh, those um, maybe uh, points, Tickman try to focus on in order to be competitive in the markets. So it's kind of the fundamental things that you're addressing in that case. So yes. the, the conditions that will allow them to excel and also the putting in place the procedures that will allow them to feel safe while they're trading. So yes, it's covering yes. all the bases. Mm. Very good, very good. Um, so with regards to the team that, you're, uh, that you monitor and that you work with directly, um, how is the team organized? And uh, how do you, um, could, could you also talk us through the process of onboarding a client? Yeah, so uh, we have different, uh, my actually team is, uh, cons consists of different departments. Mm -hmm. The reason why I have different departments is to uh, try also to give like a customized uh, service for every individual uh, or maybe type of client. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, for example, the activation department, we have partnership department and uh, we have county managers and customer support. Yeah. And not to mention also the technical analyst guys as well, that they provide educational webinars and seminars uh, to the traders. So uh, once the client gets onboarded, uh, we have an activation team that would help the client to, be, uh, to go through the registration process, mm -hmm. um, starting from uh, filling the form online, sending the KYC documents, the right documents for uh, every market, uh, get approved, and then they're ready to start. Just for our traders to understand, KYC, what, what does KYC mean exactly? It means that the, the, docu the right documents uh, for the Know Your Client, basically, mm -hmm. abbreviation of Know Your Clients, yeah. the right documents for every uh, uh, trader in order for them to get approval. Ah, okay. uh, so once they get the approval, they get their account activated. Mm -hmm. So they need to be uh, you know, approved uh, from the compliance point of view. Uh, they have a registra registration form to fill, mm -hmm. provide the right information about their profile, mm -hmm. uh, then the documents, and then once uh, the documents are correctly submitted, then the account is uh, right to be approved. And after that, the trader will be uh, ready to to fund his account and start trading. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay. Yes. Uh, regarding to the other departments, uh, so we have also a partnership department. Mm -hmm. The partnership department uh, focuses on uh, uh, maybe tailor servicing uh, the IBs or maybe partners. So uh, the, uh, the partners usually they look into providing um, clients uh, or maybe refer a friend or uh, they would like to introduce business. Uh, but uh, it's, they can either trade as well or maybe just focusing on growing their businesses. Yeah. So those guys, they, are, uh, they have some connection and they would like maybe to introduce them to Tickman. So uh, they are called partners or IBs, introducing yeah. brokers. Ah, okay. So those guys in the partnership department, they make sure that every IB is satisfied. They're providing the right also information for the clients before they get on board it. Uh, they also get some uh, rewards from Tickmill once they uh, introduce uh, their clients or traders to us. Mm -hmm. um, and the partnership department also, they ensure that the IBs, uh, they get uh, maybe the right material so they can also in there from their side to uh, provide it to their clients. Right, okay. Uh, we have also the county managers. So county managers are uh, mainly focusing on every individual market uh, they're assigned to or allocated to. Yeah. So uh, they do the business development uh, for their market. They study the market. They see what are the right approach uh, for uh, Tickmill to uh, get in that uh, market to expand the business there. Yeah. Uh, so they do analyze. Uh, they look at uh, competition there. What are the right uh, product services? Uh, and marketing budget that we need to allocate for that market and they right. come forward so we can together uh, maybe build that business uh, in the countries or region they're taking care of. Wow, okay. So we try to always provide and maybe listen to also the traders what exactly they need. I mean, yeah. we try to provide what the client is asking for. Yeah. I mean, there's no point of just uh, focusing on certain things that the trader would never take into consideration while his focus is somewhere else. So you yeah. need, need to have a uh, very efficient communication with your traders, especially uh, if they're uh, advanced, experienced traders.
So they are the best people to hear feedback from in order to provide uh, your, I mean, improved uh, always services uh, to the clients. And social media gives you those open channels of communication. Yes, yes. it's a really important tool actually. Yeah. Um, and I'm guessing that tool must trigger down into your team. So you're uh, encouraging your team to actually use social media to engage with their clients, to possibly open up more markets and to be a yes. communication channel. Yeah, yeah my team, uh, they're quite active on social media. Mm -hmm. They try to always uh, present the right image for each individual. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also some information uh, maybe posted about the profits, uh, the volume, the trading volume of the company every now and then because it's really important for the trader to uh, uh, maybe to compare mm -hmm. to compare Tickmill with other brokers as well so he can make the right decision uh, where he would like to uh, maybe invest his funds nice so could you tell me a little bit more about your team so we've been talking about the tools that you're using to engage with your clients um, but how specifically do you organize your team and how do you uh, structure the team and uh, what's the onboarding process like so when someone first comes to a member of your team all the way through to when they're actually trading with you as a client um, so my team consists of different departments the reason why uh, we have divided uh, different departments into different tasks is to cater the needs of each uh, profile client mm -hmm. so uh, for example we have the activation department they are the first uh, maybe uh, department that will be in contact with the client so that the client wants his he shows interest of opening an account with us or registering with the company they get in contact with him and they try to accommodate his needs from A to Z so uh, starting off from the registration form and then later uh, to submit his uh, documents as well so they walk the, they walk the client through the whole process until he gets approved and he's ready to open the account to find the right account as well for him mm -hmm. because we have different type of accounts so he would be in contact with that account manager in order to give him the right information to make his decision which type of accounts and whether the client is approved so he can start uh, trading wonderful okay yep. the other department would be uh, we have another department called depart uh, sorry the partnership department mm -hmm. the partnership department uh, they take care of all our partners and IBs. So we do also have uh, a department that calls county managers department. Those county managers they get involved more into develop business in every individual market. Right. So they look into for example Asia, they look into Africa, Latin America, maybe MENA region. So they try to study the market, analyze what the market needs mm -hmm. and then they communicate it uh, together. I mean we communicate it together so we can see what are the right approach in order to expand the business in each uh, individual county. Oh, wow, okay. Well, I think that's, uh, we've covered quite a lot today and that's probably all we've got time for. So I'd like to thank Carla for coming you, to Sophie. talk to us today. It's been a wonderful day and you. uh, you'll be hearing for some more of the Tickmill team very, very soon. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.